Bacon, bacon, bacon on a griddle, bacon on a griddle. No, it has to be seasoned first. <laughs> Wait, give me that. to season our new uh, suburban griddle. If you don't know, the new Rockwood Mini Lights come standard with a griddle, but you have to season it before you can use it. So just like a cast iron skillet, you wash it for probably the last time uh, with soap and water and then you dry it with paper towels. But then you have to layer uh, oil layers on it to make it a non-stick surface. So that's what we're gonna do. First thing you have to do is turn your griddle on for about 15 minutes on high to let it heat up. And then you're gonna start putting very thin layers of oil to coat it. Um, and it was recommended to use flaxseed oil. There are a lot of folks that use bacon grease or some kind of animal fat. Problem with that is the salt. Salt in those types of uh, greases will dry it out and cause it to rust or flake off. So it was recommended flaxseed oil being the best, so that's what we're going to use. Light your grill. And set a timer for about 15 minutes. Alright, once you have let it heat up for about 15 minutes, then you need a, approximately a tablespoon to two tablespoons of your oil. You don't want to put too much because you just want thin layers. You can always do more layers. And you just want to spread it around, getting every piece, sides, front, back every part because you want it to be non-stick all over. It's going to smoke, which is what you want it to do. And then you want to let it smoke off for a few minutes and then come back and put another coat. And it's probably going to take about five coats of oil to make sure you get a good, nice layer coating of non-stick surface. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Questions from the audience. Okay. <laughs> Once the griddle top is seasoned mm -hmm. and it has these layers upon layers of oil, will that make the griddle top uh, dirty, nasty to transport? Will it, will it stain whatever it touches while, while it's stored and being transported? I honestly don't know. You're supposed to leave a thin layer of oil on it even after you've cooked. You're supposed to wash it with water, scrape it, and leave a thin layer of oil. So to keep it from rusting. To keep it from rusting. Mm -hmm. So you may Need keep, in to a keep it in something a that plastic bag or something. Yes. Okay. Or some kind of griddle carry case, or which I have ordered from Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a link to the product we will have down below. <laughs> if you can tell, it's starting to turn, starting to change colors, which is what you want it to do. I'm gonna try to cook some bacon on this new griddle now that I have sort of seasoned it. We're gonna have burgers later, so I'm gonna fry up some bacon to add to our burgers for supper. Just like trying to season it, you can tell the heat's pretty much centered in this one little spot. So, we'll see. 
Alright, so I was able to cook about three slices of bacon <laughs> at the for that one little surface. So yeah, the heat's pretty much in that one area. But it's still outside. It's not getting my inside kitchen all smoky and filled with bacon. Of course, that might not be a bad thing. <laughs> Although this unit does not appear to cook as evenly as some other griddles, being the size that it is and the bracket that it's in to be able to mount on this arm, it seems to work pretty good. We uh, were able to cook an entire pack of bacon. It got darker as we used it. So maybe, as I said, similar to a baking stone that it will get darker with use. And so I hope this has helped you. We used the process that we were told to use to season it properly. And if you have any advice, please add it in the comments below. If you have learned something or you like it, give us a thumbs up. And as always, keep living and learning.